Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LogInTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LogInTC strong authentication to your VMware Horizon View by deploying a LogInTC radius connector virtual appliance and modifying your VMware Horizon View using the web UI interface. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log into the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click domains and then click create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click create to cr complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now install and configure the LoginTC Radius Connector Appliance in your virtualization infrastructure. Virtual appliance images are available in OVF slash OVA and VHD formats for both VMware ESXi and Hyper-V. You should first download the LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance image from the download section of our documentation website. See the video description for a list of relevant links. Log into your VMware ESXi console, click create slash register VM, select deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or OVA file, click next, then click to add the relevant OVF files. Enter a name for the appliance and click next. Select your relevant storage and select your desired provisioning. Now that you've completed the new VM wizard, click Finish. To view the newly deployed virtual appliance, select the new instance and then open up the console. The LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance is now ready for configuration. Now configure your newly deployed LoginTC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. Hit the Escape key and pick a password for the LoginTC-User-User. -user. This password will be used when logging into the virtual appliance's web based interface. Next, set up the network configuration. It is important to pick a static IP address so that DHCP does, don't affect functionality. Next, configure the DNS. You can select an external or internal DNS server. Finally, turn on the web server. Now that the web server is turned on, open up a new tab in your browser and navigate to the URL indicated in the bottom right hand corner. Enter the same password you configured originally to log in. Now your login C radius connector virtual appliance is ready to be configured to accept authentication requests. Now you're going to add a new configuration to accept authentication requests. Click create your first configuration. Retrieve your application ID and application API key from the login TC administration panel. If you have not created an application, click Applications. Type VMware. And then click VMware Horizon View. Copy the application ID and paste it. Next, get the application API key by clicking Click to View. Copy the API key and paste it. Click Test and Next. Now configure first factor authentication. If you use a Radius server for first factor authentication, you can select Radius. For this video, first factor authentication will be configured using Active Directory instance. Enter the Active Directory host and port, then enter the distinguished name of a read access user of a user that has read access to the directory in the bind DN field. Enter the password as well. This account will be used by the Radius connector to connect the Active Directory and validate the user's password. In the query details, enter the base DN where all your users reside. Fill out the username, name, and email attributes as well. Scroll down, click text, and then next. Pass-through is an optional feature where you can configure which users must be challenged with second factor. You can use a static list of usernames or Active Directory group memberships. This is useful for testing in a production environment or to control 
the two-factor authentication rollout to your user base. In this video, all users will be challenged. Finally, configure the Radius client. Enter the name of the client as it will appear in your configurations list. Enter the IP address where the authentication requests will originate from. Enter a secret that will be shared between your login to see Radius connector and the, v the Radius client. Pick challenge mode for a streamlined user experience. Scroll down, click test and save. Now the configuration is added and ready to be used. Now create a user and test your configuration. Go to the administration panel and from the domains tab, click your newly created domain. Scroll down and click create member. The username must match the username in your active directory or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address and click create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with login TC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the new token on your test device. Launch the Login TC app, click Add Token, and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your Login TC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with Login TC. Click the user to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. You can also perform a test from the Login TC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. This test verifies that both first and second factor authentication configurations are accurate. This is a great way to confirm that the configuration is correct before modifying your Radius client. Click Test Configuration to open the Test Configuration modal. Enter the username and password and click Test Configuration. Approve the request. This test confirms that both first and second factor authentication are configured properly. Now configure your VMware Horizon View using the Web UI interface. This video will show how to configure your VMware Horizon View using both the legacy and HTML5 based web UI administration interface. On the Login TC Radius Connector, under the Settings tab, you can see the configured IP address and Radius authentication and accounting ports. To configure VMware Horizon View using the legacy web UI interface, navigate to the appropriate URL, enter your administrator credentials, and log in. On the left hand menu, expand View Configuration and click Servers. Click the Connection Servers tab, select the connection server you wish to modify and click Edit. Click the Authentication tab. Scroll down to Advanced Authentication. In the second factor authentication dropdown, select Radius. Make sure the Enforce two factor and Windows username matching and Use the same name and password for Radius and Windows Authentication are both selected. In the Authenticator dropdown, select Create New Authenticator to add the Login TC Radius Connector as a Radius Authentication Server. Type Login TC Radius as the label. Under Hostname slash Address, enter the IP address of the Login TC Radius Connector. Make sure the authentication port is 1812. In the Authentication Type dropdown, select PAP. Enter the same shared secret used when creating the configuration on the Login TC Radius Connector. Set the server timeout to 90 seconds and max attempts to 1. Click Next to continue. Click Finish to add the new Radius server. Click OK. Your VMware Horizon View is now configured to use Login TC. To configure VMware Horizon View using the HTML5 Web UI interface, navigate to the appropriate URL. Enter your administrator credentials and log in. 
On the left hand menu, expand settings and then click servers. Click the connection servers tab, select the connection server you wish to modify and click edit. Select the authentication tab, scroll down to advanced authentication. In the second factor authentication dropdown, select radius. Make sure the enforce two-factor and Windows username matching and use the same username and password for Radius and Windows authentication options are selected. In the Authenticator dropdown, select Create New Authenticator to add the Login TC Radius connector as a Radius authentication server. Type Login TC Radius as the label. Under Hosting slash Address, enter the IP address of the Login TC Radius connector. Make sure the authentication port is 1812. In the Authentication type dropdown, select PAP. Enter the same shared secret used when creating the configuration on the Login TC Radius connector. Set the server timeout to 90 seconds and max attempts to 1. Click Next to continue. Click Finish to add the new Radius server. Click OK. Your VMware Horizon View is now configured to use Login TC. Now test VMware Horizon View using both the VMware Horizon client and the HTML5 web-based interface. This test will test both first factor against Active Directory and second factor using Login TC. Open the VMware Horizon client. Click the server you wish to access. Enter your username and passcode. Type 1 as the next code to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your VMware Horizon View assets securely using Login TC multi-factor authentication. Next, navigate to the new HTML5 web-based interface and enter your username and passcode. Click Login. Type 1 as the next code to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your VMware Horizon View assets securely using Login TC multi-factor authentication. 